Hello friends, it's Humphrey. Today we're talking about a really hot topic, which is the Roth IRA. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but at $10 a day, you can become a millionaire by the time you retire, virtually guaranteed. If you watch this video until the end, you're gonna figure out what this account is, how it works, why it's so advantageous to start one, and if done correctly, how it's gonna make you a lot of money by the time you retire. The question I get the most is something like this. Hey Humphrey, I'm 21 years old. I have $2,000 to invest. I'm not sure what to invest it in. What would you do if you were me? Well, this is my answer to you guys. If you wanna be successful in life later, have the financial security and the cushion to do whatever the hell you want, then keep watching this video. By the end of it, trust me, it's gonna all make sense to you guys. Uh, I promise that the Roth IRA is not as difficult as it sounds. Now, there is one more thing you need to do if you wanna become a millionaire, and that is to press the like button. I'm serious, guys, I don't know why, but if you just hit the like button, it actually helps my channel out a lot. This video will get more views, and hopefully more people will be educated and enlightened by what the Roth IRA is. So please hit that like button, and I appreciate you guys being here. I know that you guys have the option to watch any video on YouTube, but you're choosing to spend it with me. Now, I'm gonna make sure that this 10 minutes that you spend with me is gonna be the best return on investment of your time possible. Now, the quicker action that you take after watching this video, the more money you're gonna make. And at $10 a day, you can actually become a millionaire by the time you retire. I promise you, it works. Just keep watching. So let's get right into what a Roth IRA actually is. A Roth IRA stands for Roth Individual Retirement Account. Basically, it's a special type of account that you set up just for your retirement. The Roth portion of this piece is actually just named after a Delaware Senator back in the 90s. He pioneered this account for the greater good of everybody. The biggest advantage that you have by investing within a Roth IRA is that your earnings and your profits actually grow tax-free, yes. You heard me, tax free. That means when you retire and you withdraw all the profits and the earnings from this account, you don't pay any taxes on it. There's a famous saying that in the world or in life, there are two things that are unavoidable, death and taxes. Well, in this case, you can avoid some taxes if you have it in a Roth IRA. So this is a pretty magical account and let me detail exactly how it's gonna work. Now, the way the Roth IRA works is after you open an account, and I'll show you guys how to open an account later in this video, but basically after you open an account, the way that it differs from a traditional IRA, for example, is that in a traditional IRA, you're contributing pre-tax dollars and you're gonna be taxed later. In a Roth IRA, you're contributing after-tax dollars, so money that you've already paid taxes on, but in turn, you're not gonna be paying any taxes later on in life. Let me tell you guys a story. When I was 22, I just graduated from college in LA, and I moved back to the Bay Area where I started my first job. It was a customer service job at a video game company, a Facebook video game company, by the way, so games run on Facebook, and I was a customer support representative making $35,000 a year. That means my tax bracket when I was 22 years old was the 12% federal tax bracket. That means the money that I was making at the age of 22 was not taxed really heavily. I was actually taking most of it home. Now, by the time I retire when I'm 65, 67, 70, whatever it may be, I assume that my tax bracket will probably be way higher than 12%. I'll probably be making more money, hopefully. I'll probably have more skills and my salary will be higher. So my tax bracket is gonna be higher. Now, if I have any earnings or any profit in stocks or in types of investments that I'm gonna withdraw later, if it's not in a Roth IRA, I'm gonna be paying taxes at my ordinary income rate. So that 35 or 37% income rate if I'm in that higher tax bracket. The idea of the Roth IRA is that you take a little bit of a hit early on in life, but later on you're not gonna pay as much in taxes. So when you're young and your tax rate is relatively low, you wanna be contributing to the Roth IRA so that later when you're hopefully balling out at the age of 65, and your tax rate is super high that when you do withdraw your profits and your earnings, you're not gonna be taxed a boatload. So now that you understand the tax advantages of the Roth IRA, let me explain to you how you're gonna make a million dollars just from $10 a day. Now, contributing money to a Roth IRA is pretty simple. Once you have a Roth IRA open, all you have to do is transfer some money into it. That's called a contribution. Now, there are some limits to contributions. You can only contribute up to $6,000 per year into your Roth IRA under the age of 50, and over the age of 50, you're able to contribute $7,000 a year into your Roth IRA, and these are the rules as of 2020. So the reason why they have a $7,000 versus $6,000 for someone that's over the age of 50 is a catch-up mechanism. So they kind of want people, if they are behind on their Roth IRA contributions, to have a little bit of an advantage there. They can catch up a little bit by contributing $1,000 more per year. But do you even need to contribute $6,000 a year? And the answer is no. At $10 a day, you can become a millionaire if you start early enough. So $10 a day is $36.50 a year, and I'm gonna show you this compound interest screenshot 
where I contribute $3,650 a year every year compounded annually. You're gonna take advantage of compound interest in this case, but compounded annually at an 8% rate, you can see that we get to $1.1 million dollars by the time 40 years is up. Now, if we contributed the maximum every year, we'd actually have close to $2 million adjusted for inflation. Now, if you notice in those screenshots, I assumed an 8% annual return. Now, you're probably wondering, Humphrey, where do I get an 8% annual return from? And I'm gonna tell you the S&P 500 broad index has averaged an annualized return of 8.31% for the last 40 years. Let me show you the screenshot right here. Basically, with dividends reinvested, it's been averaging 8.31%. Now, if you don't know what an index fund is, basically, it's just a financial vehicle that is a collection of stocks. So instead of buying the whole S&P 500 index, you can just buy that index fund and you can own a small percentage of each stock within the S&P 500. So if you just invest in a broad index, S&P 500 fund in your Roth IRA, as long as the market continues to average what it's been averaging for the past 40 years, which I don't see why it wouldn't, you'll be able to achieve this 8% return in your Roth IRA and become a millionaire just from contributing $10 a day. Now, how important is the fact that it's tax-free? Well, it's actually very important. Let me show you this right here. If I invested $6,000 and I made $144,000 on that initial investment over 40 years, and I didn't hold it on a Roth IRA account, well, I would be responsible for long-term capital gains on that profit. Those long-term capital gains could amount to over $35,000 in just taxes if I didn't hold it in a Roth IRA account. So if I just held it in a normal brokerage account, I would owe those taxes. And I don't really like paying taxes. I don't think you like paying taxes. I don't think anybody likes paying taxes. Okay, so this thing sounds pretty great, right? So where do you actually open one of these accounts? Well, I personally have my Roth IRA held at Vanguard.com, but I've used Betterment.com just to play around and open an account there. And Betterment is actually a really easy to use website. You can also use some place like Fidelity and a ton of other places have uh, Roth IRA availability. Now, I will say this, when you do start a Roth IRA, it is not the actual investment. The Roth IRA is not the investment. It is just simply the account in which you would put money into to buy an investment. So you can transfer money into your Roth IRA, but you're, if you're not actually buying anything in that Roth IRA, uh, nothing actually happens. So you actually have to transfer money from your, say your checking account into your Roth IRA. And after it's in your Roth IRA, that's when you go and buy, let's say, for example, the example we've been using today are broad index S&P 500 funds. Now, I do wanna to touch on some benefits that the Roth IRA actually has. One of the benefits is that you can withdraw any of your contributions at any time with no penalty. So let's say you've invested $6,000 into your Roth IRA for the past 10 years, so your total is $60,000 invested in your Roth IRA. Your contribution is not your profit, by the way you're able to withdraw that at any time with no penalty at all in case you need that money. Now, this is a retirement account, so if you do withdraw any of the money before the age of 59 and a half, you have to pay a 10% penalty and you're taxed on the profit as ordinary income. So do not invest in a Roth IRA if you're planning to use this money you know, in the next 10 years and you're not even close to retirement. So don't get this mixed up with other investment strategies that promise to get you rich in the next two hours. In general, I don't believe in those at all, but this is a more steady, slow, and consistent way to build a million dollars over a long period of time. And it's proven to work and it's going to work if you just follow these steps. Now, there are some methods to actually avoid that 10% penalty that the Roth IRA charges you if you withdraw before the age of 59 and a half. And those are for some special situations. First, you can avoid the penalty if the withdrawal is due to disability or financial hardship. Two, you can withdraw up to $10,000 of your profit if it's for a first time home purchase, which is pretty nice. Or number three, if you happen to pass away and God forbid, I hope that nobody dies that's watching this, but if you do happen to pass away, your beneficiary can withdraw all of your Roth IRA without any penalty. Lastly, I just wanna go over that there are some income limits to the Roth IRA. If you make more than $137,000 a year individually, you cannot contribute to your Roth IRA. Now, if you are making that much money, you can still contribute to your company 401k, or in some cases, the traditional IRA. I firmly believe that this is something you have to do right away, and it's never too late to start one. I didn't start my own Roth IRA until I was the age of 27, just because I simply didn't know about it. It's like you graduate college and you're just kind of left to fend for yourself. Nobody tells you this stuff and it's not taught 
like in college or in school or anything like that. So I had to do a lot of digging myself to actually figure out, okay, is this the right investment for me? And what are the advantages? Well, I'm telling you now, if you've watched all the way until this point of the video, that it is absolutely necessary to start one in my opinion. So this is something that you can do immediately right away and take control of your financial future. All right guys, that was it. So thanks for watching my channel. I hope that this video was really informative for you guys. And if you liked it, please drop a like. Remember to subscribe to me if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you can get updated whenever I post a video. I post videos here every week and I would love to see you guys in the comment section. I reply to every single comment. So please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you guys wanna add me on Instagram or TikTok, I'm gonna leave my usernames right here on this screen. And I'd love to hear from you guys there if you guys wanna be a part of it there. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.